Recording has started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wiki Infrastructure Meeting Team. So for the 8th of August 2021. Uh, so let's start by announcement. So we have been able to release Jenkins 2.306. So congratulations to everyone involved in that weekly release. The checklist is complete. Um, Mark, you might have a word about the Docker image on that topic. Oh, yes. So the Docker image definitions add some new tags. Uh, previously, the tags were latest, slim, alpine. Uh, now there are additional tags, uh, latest-JDK8, slim-JDK8, um, alpine-JDK8. Now they are redundant at the moment because JDK8 is what's currently delivered in latest and in slim and in alpine. But beginning with next week's release, our intention is to switch at 2.307 so that latest will become JDK 11 and slim will become JDK 11 and people who need JDK 8 will need to use latest dash JDK 8. Thanks, Mark. It's a great job, everyone. Um, so the activity is quite, was quite slow this week and in the coming week, uh, it's the middle of the summer. Um, so let's start. It's been a numerous time that team uh, Yacom was unable to, to join us. So it sounds like that the time of the meeting is not the best slot for him. So the idea is to create a poll to find a new meeting time that will allow team and every usual uh, contributor and attendees to, to see the meeting. Um, Mark, do we have a poll we use poll tool that we use to work? Maybe discourse could work? I usually use Doodle, but a, a poll with, I hadn't considered using, consider using discourse. I don't know how to use discourse for a, a meeting time poll, but that's a good idea. So let's try this course to see if we are able to do that. Uh, so Gavin, if you see that recording, we, we're going to ping you on for some help maybe on IRC. But I think this course might have some kind of plugin like this one. Otherwise, let's switch to the Good, good suggestion. OK. OK, so Mark, you're taking the action. Cool. Is there anything else about the topic for new meeting time? That's it for me. Nice. Um, on my side, uh, I'm working on CI Jenkins IO. So uh, work in progress for ACI and Kubernetes. So the goal is to still to move some workload. Um, I did not work a lot on that part right now. I was uh, more focusing on the Puppet, uh, Puppet code. So I took some trainings to master a bit. The reason is the second point is because I will want to implement as soon as possible an automatic uh, updates of the agent template. So right now it's doable quite easily with update CLI for the Azure templates. However, for the MEI, um, there might be some work to be done there. So I need a bunch of update CLI uh, contribution and a puppet code. So I was working on that part experimenting. Um, we discussed with Olivier before his holidays that still the ACI to Kubernetes should be uh, the priority. So I'm going to resume that work uh, starting from tomorrow. And I also took not a lot of time, but I started to study the changes between Terraform 0.13, which is the version we're using currently, and the version 1.0 that should fix the syntax of a Terraform state, the syntax used, etc., because it will be a LTS release. Um, right now, I've worked on the AWS as a test, but um, I've been blocked and I stopped at that part. I realized that before uh, going to 1.0, I need to update all the Terraform module we are using. So that's work in progress. And once we have the latest version, then I should be able to switch to Terraform 1.0. Um, 
the reason of that change, as a reminder, it's because uh, we'll have to start resources on DigitalOcean and Scaleway, our new sponsors, and also eventually uh, on Oracle Cloud as well, because it works with Terraform. So the goal is to have an unified and long-term support for managing infrastructure as code there. Is there any question on CI Jenkins IO Terraform? So, so the progress on ci.jenkins.io is tied right now to Puppet and getting getting automation there. Um, and you're still this, the concept is still that I'll be able to continue using labels to describe, and we will have Kubernetes agents that provide the same labels and limit the amount of the number of them that they allocate. So, so we'll be able to watch those agents, see that they're healthy, et cetera. Exactly. Initially, right. I, was, uh, I wanted to work with Tim on that topic because he saw some uh, build of the BOM uh, that are quite complex builds. The thing is that we are uh, too asynchronous to these days. So mm. I am, I, I'm going to start by switching all the, the job, the mm. CI Jenkins IO job for Jenkins Puppet code. That one is using the ACI um, ACI containers with the Ruby agent. I think we are almost the same to use this. So I'm going to switch that project fully to the new one. So I started to work because it's using a shared library. So I need to, to find everything, to create a temporary pipeline for that. But that will be the first iteration, uh, ensuring that that project can work as it. And once I have the template for Kubernetes pod, I will be able to create a bunch of uh, others. Great, thank you. Thanks very much, Damien. And finally, so that's the topic on you, Mark, the preparing the Docker image EDK change. Yeah, so, so as a reminder, next week's 2.307 release will switch the Docker image. And then one week later, we'll switch the Docker image for the LTS. So, and the intent also is to switch the agent images next week. Uh, it probably won't be next Tuesday because next Tuesday will be dominated by, by delivery of the weekly, but think Wednesday or Thursday, agent images will switch. Uh, that means between that switch and the release of the next LTS, some users will be switching to run, that their agents will run with uh, JDK 8 rather than with JDK 11 as the hosted or as the Java version running that agent. So agent, agent image changes in addition to the controller image. That's all that I needed to share there, Damien. Oh, sorry, I was speaking completely muted. My okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that, that's that's all for me. I don't have an uh, other topic. Do you have other topic on your side? Uh... None, none for me. I'll go decode how we do the how we do the um, the poll with discourse. I've never done a a discourse calendar poll before, and we'll mm -hmm. we'll see what we learn. Cool. So that's all for today. So let's see by default uh, in one week, unless we already have a result for the poll. But by default, let's see at least next week for the next uh, meeting point. Right, see you next week. See you next week, bye-bye. Bye-bye.